Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to explain numerical examples of Townsend's theory. In the last session, I have already explained what is Townsend's theory. Those who are not watched those videos, do one thing. Kindly go through the video once again and let us solve the problem first. Okay. Those who are not watched, what you can do, I will be putting the particular link of that video in the description box. Please go through my description box and get the information and study well and let us solve the problem. See, I am moving on. First question. In an experiment, in a certain gas, it was found that the steady state current is 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 ampere at 8 kilowatt at a certain distance of 0.4 centimeter between the plane electrodes. Keeping the field constant and reducing the distance to 0.1 centimeter results in a current of 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 ampere. So what you are supposed to calculate? You are supposed to calculate Townsend's primary ionization coefficient. You are supposed to calculate Townsend's primary ionization coefficient. You are supposed to calculate alpha. So calculate calculate the value of calculate the value of alpha alpha means townsend's primary ionization coefficient okay let us solve how to make out what are the data they are given given data now the given data given data let us see the given data gd means i, I have written given data in an experiment, in a certain gas, it was found that steady state current is 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 ampere. So, I will be calling I1. I1 equal to what? 5.8 into 10 to the power minus 8 ampere at 8 kilovolt. Provided the potential is 8 kV between two electrodes. And at a distance of 0 0.4 centimeter. Whenever we are doing this experiment, the distance between those two electrodes equal to 0.4 centimeter. Now, keep on reading the question. Keeping the field constant, same field, keeping the same field, keeping the field constant, that means 8 kV, and reducing the distance to 0.1 centimeter. What you will be doing is, you are going to re reduce the distance of uh, 0, uh, distance from 0.4 centimeter to 0.1 centimeter. At that time, the current, the current will be obtaining, the current between two electrodes that is inducing the gas that is given as 5.5 into 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 9. 5.5 into 10 to the power uh, minus 9. There is a small uh, clarification. Uh, this will be 5.5, not 5.8. Look at that. Here, small correction is the 5.5. Okay, remaining things are same only. A small correction. Okay, while writing I made a mistake. That's okay. I1 equal to 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 8. D1 equal to 0 0.4 centimeter. D2 equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. I1 equal to 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 9. Ah, we don't forget to write the unit. Now, how to solve this? So, you know, Townsend's current growth equation by considering primary ionization that is equal to I is given by I0 into e to the power alpha d. So, this you, have, you must study. This is the most important formula in the area of high voltage engineering. Now, let us take the ratio. So, I1 equal to I0 into e to the power alpha into d1. Similarly, I2 is equal to I0 into e to the power alpha d2. Please call this is equation number 1 and this should be equation number 2. Please take the ratio. So, we can write I1 by I2, I1 by I2 that is equal to this I0, I0 getting cancelled because similar value that is getting cancelled. So, what are the things remaining? e to the power alpha d1 divided by e to the power alpha d2. Hope it is clear. Now, I will be writing here remaining things I will be writing here. So, uh, I1 by I2 that means I1 by I2 that is given by uh, e raised to m minus e raised to n. That is equal to e raised to m minus n. Same thing you can apply. That means e to the power alpha common. Bracket should be put common. d1 minus d2. I will be writing once again. That means e to the power alpha into d1 minus d2. Hope it is clear. 
that means i1 by i2 what is i1 by i2 can i write uh, this uh, this side let me write this side i'll be writing this side i'll be rubbing uh, time being please update please update i'll be rubbing this point okay i'll be rubbing and please update uh, everybody please note those points in your particular notebook for my convenience i'll be writing here only so i1 by i2 is equal to uh, i1 by i2 i1 by i2 is equal to uh, e to the power alpha into d1 minus d2 so i1 by i2 what i can do i1 is how much i1 5.5 that means 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by 5.5 uh, into 10 to the power minus 9 that is equal to e to the power alpha into what is d1 d1 equal to 0 0.4 centimeter d2 is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter that means 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 so this getting cancelled 5.5 and 5.5 that is available in numerator and denominator so that is getting cancelled so what is remaining 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 10 raised to minus 9 that means 10 raised to minus 8 plus 9 so what i can write 10 10 raised to 8 plus 9 means 10 10 only correct 10. that is equal to uh, e to the power alpha into what is this 0 0.3 okay now what you can do how to calculate alpha to calculate alpha what you can do is uh, can i run this i'll be writing the remaining things here itself please update so take land on lhs and rhs so you can call equation number three so consider equation number three that implies ln of 10 equal to ln of 10 equal to ln of e to the power 0.3 that means ln e to the power x equal to x that means alpha into 0 0.3 from this i can easily calculate townsend's primary ionization coefficient alpha that is equal to ln of 10 upon 0 0.3 so what should be the value of alpha alpha value is equal to please do use the cal cal c all of you please use the cal calculator so 7 point you will be getting approximately 7.675 75 unities tor raised to minus 1 centimeter raised to minus 1 tor means it is one of the unit of pressure okay i already explained that alpha is directly depending on electric field as well as uh, pressure so better you can use the for uh, uh, units like tor raised to centimeter uh, tor raised to minus 1 centimeter raised to minus 1 this is the value of alpha please note down please do verify all of you kindly verify uh, this problem will be mainly uh, asked especially uh, university exam like uh, visuasharaya technological university and uh, some university like anna university uh, those university will be mainly asking those kind of questions in their university examination those who are preparing for university examination this will be really helpful uh, please uh, please check once again and check the answer and check the method also very simple method for your betterment i'll be doing one of the similar problem and i would like to work out uh, the similar problem question this question is over any doubts you can uh, put in the description box i'll be reply back i'll be replying back for those queries So let us write the question number two very fastly. Question number two. Question two. A steady state current of a steady state current. A steady state current of a steady state current of six hundred microampere. Six hundred microampere flows through a plane electrodes flows through a flows through a plane electrode plane electrodes flows through a plane electrodes separated by a distance of separated by separated by a distance separated by a distance of 0.5 cm 0.5 cm when a voltage of 10 kV when a voltage of voltage of 10 kV when a voltage of 10 kV is applied correct is applied 
is applied. Full stop. Determine Townsend's. Determine. Determine Townsend's first ionization coefficient alpha. If current of. If current of. If current of. 60 microampere flows. 60 microampere flows. When the distance of separation, when the distance of separation, when the distance of separation, when the distance of separation is reduced to 0.1 centimeter, is reduced 0.1 centimeter, 0.1 centimeter at the field kept constant, at the field, at the field kept constant field kept constant at the field kept constant at previous value at previous value that means 10 kV at previous value so same problem no change let us work out very easily pay the attention here what is I1 let, let us note down what is I1 I1 equal to GD given data I1 given data I1 equal to 600 microampere that means 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere similarly field is kept constant 10 kV let it be 10 kV so distance distance between two electrode that is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter keep as it is at uh, 10 kV no change 10 kV field is 10 kV you are supposed to calculate alpha alpha should be calculated uh, if the current of 60 microampere so I will be writing I2 I2 is equal to 60 microampere into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere and the distance between two electrodes that has been reduced to 0 0.1 centimeter 0 0.1 centimeter now directly you can apply the formula how to apply the formula how to apply the formula very simple i1 by i2 that means i i equal to main equation is i equal to i naught into e to the power alpha d that's the main equation Townsend's current growth equation by considering primary ionization so you can take the ratio i1 by i2 is equal to uh, e to the power alpha into d1 minus d2 same problem that is why uh, i am not writing each and every steps you can directly move on that i1 is how much 600 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 that is equal to e to the power alpha into d1 minus d2 what is the value of d1 minus d2 uh, 0.5 minus 0 0.1 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1 that is equal to 0.4 so uh, if you simplify this I will be getting 10 value 10 10 600 here 0 0 get cancelled then 10 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 that is getting cancelled ok uh, then e to the power alpha into 0 0.4 now take the line you have to take the logarithm ok take the logarithm I will be rubbing this I hope you have updated everything. Maintain my notebook. That is well and good. That means take LAN. LAN 10 equal to alpha into 0 0.4. From this, I can easily calculate alpha. LAN 10 divided by 0.4. If you calculate, uh, the value will be how much? Let us, let us say the value will be 5.7. 5.756 Unit is what is the unit? Can anyone say about unit? Tor raised to minus 1 centimeter raised to minus 1. This is the final answer of alpha. Okay. I hope uh, you could understand two problems. Both are most important questions for university examination. Maybe some objective questions also may be asked regarding this topic. Uh, those who done two problems just verify the answer whether it is correct or not any doubts regarding this kindly update in the description box definitely i will revert you i'll get you back so first of all uh, and finally i would like to convey my regards to you thank you so much thank you for watching this uh, please share this videos to your friends okay uh, next class i will be explaining about Townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization. That is the next topic that I will be, will be, that I'll be doing very fastly. And uh, 
we'll meet next time thank you for watching the video thank you